Happy New Year everyone, welcome back to My Aqua TV. Hope you had a fantastic uh, Christmas break and New Year. I am excited to give you this dish today, Boulobes, a lovely little fish stew, great for January, nice and fresh, nice and healthy as well. During today's episode, there's gonna be some exciting new things that I'm gonna be sharing with you as well, so stay tuned and watch what we're gonna do. Right then guys, we're doing a boulobaise, so that is a fish-based uh, stew. We've got some onions, garlic, some lovely vine tomatoes. We've got some mussels, some gurnard sea bass, prawns, some white wine, some stock, and we're gonna cook all this together, a lovely bit of fennel as well, and it's gonna be amazing. So I'm gonna start off by chopping down our onion. So we've got a medium-sized onion, and we're just gonna finely dice that. Take that skin off. Then we're gonna go onto the, the fennel, and we're gonna sweat those down in our pan for about five to 10 minutes to release all of the flavors. Right, onto the fennel. The smell of this fennel is unbelievable. I love that little bit of aniseed uh, there. It's gonna be great. Next, we're gonna do the garlic and then uh, finally chop our tomatoes as well. All right, so let's add a little bit of oil and butter to our, our pan, and then we're just gonna slowly sweat off our fennel and onions in there. Give that about five minutes there, so that releases all the flavors. Okay then guys, ready now to add the tomatoes, sweat those off, and the garlic as well, and then give that another couple of minutes, and then we're gonna get the stock in there, uh, along with all of our, our wine as well. Just a tablespoon of uh, tomato puree in there as well. So we're gonna add our white wine now and perno, and we're just gonna cook off the alcohol there. And then a little splash of your perno to really enhance that, that aniseed flavor there. Okay, now time for the chicken stock. We'll pop that in. And then we're just gonna bring that to the boil for a couple of minutes. As that's coming to the boil now, we're just gonna add in all of the herbs, star anise, little bit of uh, orange uh, uh, juice as well. So let's pop all of that in. This again, just enhance all the flavors for our nice bouillabaisse. And a little bit of pinch of uh, saffron powder as well. Put that in there. Onto our fish, we've got these beautiful mussels, beautiful bit of chunky gurnard, the sea bass as well. Absolutely stunning. And then our beautiful juicy prawns. So let's just, I'm just gonna prepare the mussels. Um, just give them a tap and then the, uh, the mussels will close up. So if they're opened, they'll close up. If they don't close, then just discard them, okay? But you'll see that they'll close up there nicely, okay? Okay, so let's add our mussels to the, our pan. Put all of the chicken stock and wine. Then we're just gonna put a lid on that and cook that for about four minutes. Okay then guys, we're going to uh, do our mussels now. Oh, look at this, all smelling great, looking amazing. Let's have a look in there. That looks stunning. All those flavors coming together. So I'm just gonna get all the mussels out. And then, as I said, take, um, take the meat out of the majority of them and then just leave about uh, 12, 18 mussels that we're gonna um, use to garnish uh, the, the boulebets later. So I'm just gonna take the meat out of these, uh, these shells and then just pop them in there. Just use one of the other mussels just to get that out. Uh, easy peasy. And then as you come through your, your herbs and everything, just discard all of that. Because you don't, when you're gonna be, we're gonna be blending up the, the sauce in a minute. We don't want that uh, being blended up. Right now, we are at the stage where I've just left with the uh, sauce in the pan here. I've taken all the mussels out of their shells, left some in the shells, and I'm just gonna blitz this up so it's really nice and smooth. And then we're gonna transfer it to another pan and then start to add our gurnard and sea bass and prawns. It is looking great. I cannot wait to get it. It's almost there. Mm. 
Right, so I'm just gonna pour my sauce now into another pan. I'm just gonna strain it just to get rid of any lumps. And then I'm just gonna pass it through the sieve just with the back of my spatula. So whilst I'm just preparing the fish here, I told you there's a little bit of a surprise that I've got in store for you. And that's that we are doing a refurbishment in White Ladies Road, January. We start January the 3rd and we're gonna be shut for a month giving that a lovely new fresh look, uh, fresh feel for you. So a brand new restaurant coming your way uh, for the start of February, all right? And along with that refurbishment that we're doing, planning in January, we're also gonna be preparing a new menu for you as well. So I cannot wait to show you what that is like. It is gonna be absolutely stunning. You're gonna have a bit of theater in the restaurant as well. It's gonna be amazing. Right then guys, so look, we've got our beautiful sea bass and gurna. We're gonna put that into the pan now with all of the, the juices and the sauce. Once that's uh, cooked down, then we're gonna add the prawns because they don't take as long. And then we're gonna add our mussels as well to reheat um, at the same time with the prawns, okay? So it's all coming together now, here we go. Right, so I'm just gonna add our sea bass now and gurnard, pop that in there and cook that off. Give that a couple of minutes and then we're on to the prawns and reheating the mussels as well. So look, the fish is coming together nicely. That's all, that's getting cooked now. There's not much longer left on that. So I'm gonna add the prawns and this won't take long at all. And the mussels as well, so they, they reheat. There we go, look at that, look at this. Those mussels. Then I'm just gonna put the lid on that, give that another four minutes, then we're ready to serve. All right, we're ready to make our roux sauce now. That's just gonna, we're gonna pop that on the, uh, the fish stew, the bouillabaisse uh, afterwards. So we're just gonna get our egg yolks, separate those. Then we're gonna whisk that up with our saffron powder. There we are. Not too much, because it's quite strong. Whisk that up. Get some salt in there as well. Now a little bit of cayenne. Now the olive oil. Okay, now a little bit of boiling water. Right. Blue base is ready. Let's have a look at this. Looks absolutely stunning. Here we go. Oh, look at that prawn. Beautiful. Right then, here we go, guys. Let's serve this all up. Absolutely gorgeous. Squeeze a bit of lemon over that. There we have it, a wonderful bouillabaisse fish stew. Perfect dish for your healthy January. Doesn't get better than that. Right, I've been eyeing my, this little prawn up. I'm going straight in for this prawn, I can't wait. Here we go, it's going all in. Mm. Oh my goodness, that is just juicy succulent. The flavours of that stew, absolutely beautiful. Wow. The aromas of the fennel, the perno, the fish as well. Oh man, this is just amazing. Hope you enjoy it and I'll see you soon.